Okay. Just settle back and relax. Just looking upward as if you were looking up through your eyelids. And fix your gaze on a spot, either real or imaginary, when I count from five down to one. As I count down, just letting yourself imagine your eyelids becoming heavy, your eyes becoming tired, so that when I get to one, you can allow your eyes to close and begin to relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Just let your eyes close now. Let your eyes close and begin to relax deeply. First, just think of the top of your own head, your scalp. And let all the muscles, skin and nerve endings there just relax and let go. Think down into your forehead and allow that area to smooth out and relax. Just letting all the tension drain away like a fluid. The tension just flowing down and away, leaving all the muscle groups beautifully relaxed and at ease. Think down into your eyelids now and all the little muscles around the eyes and the eyelids. Let those muscles relax too. Think down further into your face and all the muscles of the face, the cheeks, mouth and jaw muscles. Let those muscles let go. Feel comfortable. This may mean your mouth is slightly open but whatever position is best for you, just let it happen. The more you physically relax, the more you'll mentally relax, so that soon, very soon, you can enjoy that pleasant feeling of half-wakefulness, half-sleepiness, as commonly called hypnosis. And think on down through the neck and shoulder muscles, and on into the tops of your arms, allow those muscles to sag down and become tension-free. Think over the muscles of the upper arms, let them relax, down into the elbows and on to the forearms. Just let all those areas relax and let go. Down through the wrists, into the hands, down into the fingers and thumbs, right the way down to the very tips of your fingers and the tips of your thumbs. Just let all the muscles, large or small, feel easy, comfortable and tension-free. Think for a moment of your breathing. You're breathing easily and evenly now. With each breath you breathe out now, say to yourself in your mind the sound of the word calm. Just saying the word to yourself in your mind with every breath you breathe out. Not thinking of the meaning of the word, just allowing the sound of the word to help, guide and assist you into deeper levels of relaxation. If you should notice at any time during this session that you've stopped using that sound, that's okay. It just means your mind has relaxed and wandered. To help you relax even more deeply, just use that sound again with each breath you breathe out. And as you think of the chest muscles, so you can let any tension in the chest area drain away. As you think down into the stomach muscles, let them relax too. Think down even further now as you think down into all the muscles of your back. The muscles down either side of the spine. Let those muscles let go too. Relax. Feel good. Allow wherever you're reclining to take all the weight and all the strain. Think into your waist, your hips and down into your main thigh muscles, letting tension drain down and away as you sink down towards your knees and on down into the shins and calves, allowing those muscles to relax too. Feel comfortable and let go. As you think on into the ankles and down into the feet, into the toes, right the way down to the very tips of the toes, all the muscles relaxed, tension free and feeling good. And you can allow your mind to drift, drift
drift to a pleasant, peaceful place. A place that you know and where you can always feel able to relax completely. A safe, secure place where no one and nothing can bother you. It may be a place you've been on holiday, a beach or a place in the countryside. Or it may be a room, a room you once loved. Or a room you enjoy spending time in now. Or a room you'd like to have, an imaginary place, but a place where you can always feel able to let go completely. A haven, a haven of tranquility, unique and special to you. In order to help you be in this place, notice first the lighting level. Is it bright, natural or dim? And any particular source of light, natural or man-made. Notice also the temperature level, hot, warm or cool, and any particular source of heat. Be aware also of the colours that surround you, shapes and textures. Just being there, sitting, lying or reclining, enjoy the sounds, the smells, the atmosphere, with nobody wanting anything, nobody needing anything and no one expecting anything from you, so you can truly relax. In a moment I shall count from five down to zero, and as you rest in your own haven of tranquility, Allow yourself to drift deeper and deeper into relaxation, so that by the time I get to zero, you can allow yourself to be as deeply relaxed as you can ever manage, while still able to hear and respond to the sound of my voice. Five. Just continue to relax. Continue to let go and feel good. Four. Relaxing, even more letting go. Even more pleasant to have this time to yourself, for yourself and the changes you wish to make. Three, sinking deeper, drifting further into this welcoming, relaxed state. Two, letting go of any last little bits of tension now and allowing the sound of my voice and the words that I say guide you deeper and deeper into those deeply relaxed feelings. One, nearly all the way down now, feeling really good, beautifully relaxed, and zero. And now you're so beautifully relaxed, you can allow your mind to drift. Beginning to enjoy these nice, relaxing feelings. And these relaxing feelings make you feel good about yourself. And I wonder how you'd feel about allowing these feelings to extend to creating a more positive self image. One in which you feel it is safe and comfortable to be yourself, to experience your feelings in a way that's acceptable to you. So let's begin by creating a special room for you where you can begin to see this room in your mind as you listen to the sound of my voice. And this room can be however you want it to be because it's your own special place. No one else can enter this room without your permission. So take a look around you. Notice the wonderful colours here, the furniture. Perhaps a large, comfortable chair or bed. A window with a beautiful view overlooking some gorgeous countryside. And as you stand there, looking out over that countryside, perhaps in your mind you can remember another time in your life when you were filled with awe and wonder as you looked out 
have a very special view. And if you wish for a moment or two, you can project your mind out there into that beautiful place and feel the freedom from the physical body as you enjoy the natural elements. Look around you and notice what a beautiful place the world is. All around you see evidence of life. Even a single blade of grass swaying in the gentle breeze is alive in this wonderful place. And as you stroll along a path through this beautiful countryside, you reach a fork in the path and you realise you have a choice to make. You can either take the quick path down that slippery slope or the slightly inclined one leading further up towards a beautiful plateau. Now you can take the downward slope, the easiest path to take, which is the path of continuing to binge, eat and throw up your food, followed by the feelings of self-disgust, feelings of being unloved or unacceptable, or there's the upward slope, which with just a little effort will take you towards a more contented feeling, one of self-fulfillment, feeling good about yourself and who you are. Now you know which path you want to take, that's why you're here today, and each little step on that upward incline is a huge step to victory, and overcoming that old problem you have. And now see yourself having reached that plateau. Seeing around you a panoramic view. Feeling content, lovable, acceptable, happy. And just enjoy these wonderful feelings. Find yourself back in your special room, feeling a little hungry, ready for something to eat. And as you look around you, see a tray on the table laden with healthy, appetising snacks. You sit down and begin to eat just a little at first and then you relax. Remember that beautiful view lovely countryside and those wonderful feelings and after you snack walk over to the mirror on the far wall of your room and you examine your reflection from head to toe and you decide that you like what you see you have a strong healthy body you look well you feel good you're happy and content with the way you look. 
notice what you're wearing today, how nice those clothes look on your beautiful body. You're standing tall and proud of who you are. The way you look is fine. The way you dress is fine. The way you act is fine. And the way you are is fine. You're a good and worthwhile person, a unique individual. You love and respect yourself. You treat your body with the love and respect it deserves. You have every right to happiness. You have every reason to believe that true happiness is within your grasp. You only have to choose the right paths to reach. And you do good things for yourself. You begin to enjoy life more. And you enjoy your food. Healthy, appetising food. In small quantities. And when you've had enough to eat, you stop eating. And notice a comfortable feeling in your stomach. And this tells you that you've had enough. You don't need to vomit anymore. Your subconscious mind always knows when you've had enough to eat. So you stop. You simply stop eating and enjoy a lovely, comfortable feeling in your stomach. A satisfied feeling, a calm and comfortable feeling which remains with you for a long, long time. Making you proud and happy with your achievement. Confident of your ability to eat healthily. when you've had enough to eat, knowing that you never need to throw up again. This pleases you very much. In a moment, I'll be concluding this session by counting from one to five. Before I begin counting, depending on when you're listening to this session, you can decide whether you want to open your eyes or go to sleep at the count of five. If you decide to go to sleep, then as I say each number, you'll drift closer and closer to sleep. And when I reach the number five, you'll be in a lovely deep sleep. If you decide to become consciously aware at the end of this session, then each number I give will help you to emerge from this pleasant state. Until at the count of five, you'll open your eyes and you'll be fully alert, feeling wonderful and marvellous in every way. Whether you decide to wake up now or after you've had a sleep, when you awake and your body and mind will be refreshed, you'll experience a sense of peacefulness within that will continue with you through your daily life in the weeks ahead. Each time you listen to this session, you'll be able to go into an even deeper, more comfortable and more peaceful state more quickly, and you'll continue to achieve more benefits from it. One. You've decided whether you want to emerge fully or go to sleep at the end of this count. Each number I give is helping you to do so. When you open your eyes, whether at the count of five or at the end of your sleeping time, you'll be fully alert and refreshed, energised and you'll feel confident and happy. Two. Each day you'll keep feeling more alive, healthy and happy with yourself. You'll continue experiencing more improvement in all areas of your life and you'll be aware of the power of hypnosis to help you with any problem or obstacle you might encounter in the future. Three, all of the suggestions I've given you are in the storehouse of your mind, in every cell of your body, in every aspect of who you are. These suggestions keep becoming stronger and more powerful and more effective every day. Four, you'll continue to experience whatever healing and releasing is necessary for you in your life right now. And five, 